I've come out fossil hunting today to have a look through all of this clay behind me. I can see there's a few fossils sticking out of it, so let's have a look and see what we can find. I've already found a little ammonite fossil, which I'll show you in just a moment. And there's quite a few other fossils dotted around in some shale slabs. We'll have a look at those too. Let's get straight into it and start having a look for some fossils. Already opened up this nice little ammonite fossil. Not the most exciting, but I've got a good feeling we're going to be finding plenty more nice fossils in today's video. You can see the imprint here where a couple of bellumnite fossils have been, the squid-like creatures. Perfect imprints, the fossils must just have been washed away. There's also several fossilised shells within the same slab. And also, there's another bellumnite fossil itself just starting to be revealed. A lot of fossils all just within this one slab a few nice fossils there already and at the end of the video we've got an incredible ichthyosaur paddle to show you which my dad has just finished preparing right let's have a look for some more fossils then lots of really fresh orange shale that's come down it's even taken part of a tree with it, as you can see. Oh. Does that have a fossil inside? I think almost certainly that's gonna have a lovely complete ammonite. Fingers crossed, we'll open that shortly. Wonder if there's any other nodules here that we can spot. There's this one here. Probably a bit too thin to open up. Could have something in, but very tricky. It's also another little rotten nodule there. Again, I think that's probably going to be empty. I wonder if there's any other complete nodules about. This one's quite well stuck. So there's certainly lots of broken up bits of nodule just laying around. That looks like the best one so far. I'm really excited to open it up and see if we're correct, see if it does contain a fossil or not. I haven't seen anything else too obvious so far, but it's always possible that I'll overlook something and at home you might be able to spot a fossil that I didn't see in person. Believe it or not, this was actually how the fossil was positioned. I've not moved it here. You can see how the outer edge of the Hildoceros ammonite is three-dimensional and the innermost part of the fossil is just 2D, crushed flat. A little piece of shale there, it's quite loose and eventually the tide will erode that away and the full ammonite will be revealed. There's been a bit of a bellumite next to it as well. You can just already see there how loose these fossils are. They fall out really easily. That's a nice little piece to leave there for someone else to see. I also couldn't believe it but on this slab as well there is the most intact bellumnite that we've seen so far. This is one of the best bellumnites actually I've seen in quite some time in general. It's completely preserved, lots of little shells next to it. It's got part of the fragma cone which is covered in pyrite clusters. That is a really really lovely example of one of the fossilised squid-like creatures. That is great. Really nice. And it was genuinely sat here like this. 
another fossil that's just stuck in this clay. It's unbelievable. Picks up this other smaller ammonite nodule. It's been quite well eroded, as you can see. There is a nodule in this shot that I've just spotted. I'm going to pan across and see if you can identify which rock has an ammonite fossil inside. Give you a few moments to have a good look. I'll get a bit closer to narrow down whereabouts the fossil is. You might have guessed it, but the fossil is in this nodule down here. If we get a bit closer, you can see right there, a bit of an ammonite. Hard to tell just from looking from the top of the nodule, but when we get closer down, you can see it. Look at that lovely golden edge. That should have a really nice pyritic ammonite preserved inside it. There's an ammonite imprint. Fossil itself has gone. Maybe someone else found it before us, or maybe the sea has just opened it up. But either way, pretty nice imprint there. Shows that there's still plenty of fossils around to be found. Let's see if we can find a couple more and then we'll open up the nodules that we've already got. The only other fossil that I've come across is this one that I've just spotted sat down in this rock pool. There's another fossil sat in the shingle here for you to try and see where it is. fossil right here. Lovely little ammonite with a little bit of a fossilised shell preserved next to it. Unbelievably, just about when I'd given up looking for any more nodules on the beach, I've just come across a really large nodule stuck down in the clay. I'll show you it, see if you can spot it. And we're almost certainly going to have to use our hammer and chisel to extract this fossil from the clay. It was a pretty difficult fossil to spot where it was at first. Let's see if you can see where this one is though. Should have had plenty of practice by now, looking for other fossils throughout this video. Somewhere just around here is a nice big ammonite nodule which is stuck inside the clay. You might think it's that nodule over there, but it's actually this nodule over here. Looking closely at it, it's only when you get right up to it, that you can see that crisp edge of the lovely ammonite fossil. It's completely stuck down into this clay. It's probably why it's never been found before. Here we go. Our nodule is completely intact. This could be something really special. 
now that we've got the fossil released from the clay, let's open it up straight away. I can't wait to see what's inside. Let's open it up. The way it's split, I've been able to see what's inside already. You're not going to believe this at all. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is superb. Just a thing that was literally stuck here. That really is a fantastic ammonite fossil. So pleased with it. We barely need any preparation whatsoever. It's complete all the way to the center. Should go back together perfectly as well. Great. That's all of the fossils that we're going to be finding today. Let's head home and have a look at that special fossil at the end of the video. Can't wait to show you it. Every single nodule here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will, however these have the best chance. If you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils, or alternatively visit our official website, yorkshirefossils.net, for both ammonites to open yourself, as well as fully prepared specimens. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them, and thanks in advance for supporting what we do. We're back home now and time to have a look at that fossil that we've been mentioning. Today we're going to be having a look at this ichthyosaur flipper or paddle which we found very recently. My dad has just finished preparing it. It's an almost complete articulated paddle. really like the way he's prepared it to be sat on top of the shale. There's also a little vertebra over at this side of the shale. Unfortunately, this was all that we found. There was no other sign of any other part of the creature. Of course, we're still over the moon to come home with something like this. The day I found this, we'd only really found one or two small ammonites. I couldn't believe, just as I was about to leave the beach, finding this. What a stunning piece. Here's a few photos of some close-ups of the paddle. Thank you to everyone so far who's been supporting us and our channel and the work that we do on the fossils. We really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.
Just got a couple of quick bits of scenery to show you before we end the video.